Tony, I'm not sure you've ever had five, all five seniors on the court together before tonight. What was it like as a, their, their coach to look out and see those guys out there? Yeah, that was great. Um, just the way the, the four seniors started and then for Cade uh, to hit that shot, you know, reminded me of Thomas Rogers. Remember when he did that on his senior night? And for Cade, I've watched Cade shoot in practice a lot, and that might have been the biggest surprise of the game, him knocking down a three. Um, but I was so happy for him because he's had a role that is um, significant in practice. He's a true servant. What a servant's heart. And um, so to see those guys and to be able to be, for, to be able, able to pull them out with the game in hand um, and let the crowd, you know, appreciate what they've done was special. Tony, you've obviously had a lot of milestones with this particular group, but to be undefeated all year at home, uh, what does that say and, and what does that mean to the program? Well, you know, one of the things when I, I, I called those guys after they did their TV interviews, I brought them to center court. I don't know if you guys were in here or out there, but I, um, I just said, I said, look around. I said, first, give thanks. Be, be so thankful for, for what has transpired in this building over your four years. And I told them, I said, you guys have honored the pillars in the program, and that's the greatest gift to me. But, but look what look what's happened. Look at the excitement that's happened, and I just wanted them to appreciate that. I wanted to them to be thankful for what happened, and also um, let them know how appreciative I was. That's a gift to me that they they really did. They honored what matters to me and the pillars in our program, and and what came of it. But um, to see their their heart uh, and their drive, and again how they executed it and protected their home court. Uh, was was really good this year, and that was special. I asked him at the end too. I said, "Who won, Carolina or Duke?" I didn't know, and I don't know if it was London. Said, "Ah, the Heat." I knew they knew. They said, "Carolina won," but but didn't take away from that moment to be with them and and uh, touch each one of them and just say that to them. Yeah, Mike, Mike Toby's had some ups and downs during his career, particularly this season. Yeah. How how gratifying was oh. it for you to have him go out like this? Um, you know, I, I think it's, hopefully it's important for. You know the tournament, the postseason tournaments, um, and I um, nothing. What, what I told the guys before the game, I said there's there's a lot of things worthy to celebrate, and um, you know your last game here. You're at the time we didn't know you're still in the race for the title. Um, all these things worthy, I said. But the true celebration to me is when the ball's tipped and and bringing a high level of play collectively and then individually. And I get so happy when those guys do a good job or have a great individual game, especially Mike, like you said, Doug, that has had some ups and downs. To see him play uh, and rebound like that was inspiring. And um, like I said, I just was thankful for that. And whenever I see those guys have those kind of games and just play collectively good as a unit, but then individually, that, that brings me a lot of joy. And that was tonight. I mean, he was really active. And again, that was important for us because his size was, a, was very helpful. Tony, this is the second time in as many games against Louisville this season that you've just locked them down defensively. I, I'm pretty sure it was a season low shooting percentage for them tonight. What was the key in, in, in your mind? And it looked like Malcolm did a terrific job on Lee. Yeah, he did. We, we, were, we were a little sluggish offensively. They did a good job. They made it hard for us. And we had some bad turnovers that were uncharacteristic. But we played really hard defensively. I don't think the crowd would have let us do anything but that. But there was such effort defensively and plays at the rim. And they missed a couple of easy ones. And they were, they were cold and they were off. And it was a unique game. It was a unique game for them. I, I don't, you know, to, to know that that's your last game, uh, it was just a strange situation. And they probably didn't play their best. But I hope our, our spirited play, how we competed, um, throughout the entire possession defensively was was good. And again, there was um, a lot of uh, what we have. Uh, we didn't have that many blocks. Uh, I thought we had a few more blocks. It just seemed like we contested a lot of stuff. And you know, everybody just was fighting. I said, for these seniors, don't leave anything in the locker room. And our guys didn't. Tony, it seemed like for a long time in this game, Malcolm wasn't really, yeah. really sharp. And you guys weren't lighting up the scoreboard, but you were no. still comfortably ahead. How good is that to see that yeah. even when he's not there, our defense was good. London and Malcolm, if you look at their first half stats, um, Coach Soderberg said that they were combined, I don't know what, the, what they were in the first half, two of something, and some turnovers were there. And you knew those guys were going to get going and get right. And so uh, our defense held us in there. 
Evan got us off. You know, we were kind of, it was real sloppy both ways early, and he knocked down a couple threes. We got it inside to Anthony. Mike did a good job. I thought that was, that was important because that balance of scoring, again, three guys in double figures, um, and then a guy with eight. And uh, yeah, and London was, that, that helps us. That's setting. Mike, Mike's been kind of an enigma and a fascination the whole time he's been here. But the last couple games, it seems like he's played with a little bit more toughness going after rebounds and stuff like that. Yep. And tonight, there may have been a sense of, holy, you know, this is it. Yeah. Um, in your experience, can that sense of urgency kind of carry over into a postseason situation where, you know, yeah. the, the next time you lose or two right. more times, yep. you're done? Yeah, for sure. I, I, I think um, the one thing about all of our seniors, they've all played pivotal roles and effective roles at different times. Of course, Malcolm's had the biggest, and then Anthony probably next. But Mike has helped us in big games at different times this year, other games. Same with Evan. So they, they've all had significant contributions. So it's in there, and you can see that. Um, but that size Mike has and then him playing with a reckless abandon, that's what we talked about. Focus on one thing. Don't worry about following. Don't worry about a force. Just have a reckless abandon. And I thought he, he was that tonight. But I, I hope so. I hope he can bring that spirit. I don't know if he can get 20 rebounds every game. But that size and he was um, moving well uh, and was inspired, that will help us moving forward. And I expect to see that kind of life and liveliness from him.